All right, let's go to page uh, 254. I don't know how to pray. And really, I, I, want, I want you to go to what, what you talked about in page 256 because I loved the story of Vestal Goodman yeah. walking in with the Statler brothers. Take us back, literally just take us into that room right now. Okay, well, it was always our custom to say a prayer before we went on stage uh, every night. We would take turns doing it. Always from a concert, a TV appearance, whatever. And when we were doing our TV show in the 90s on uh, the Indian, we did it for seven years. Before we would walk on stage to tape the show every Saturday night, we would stop and have a prayer. This particular week, Vestal Goodman was one of the guests on the show. And as we're going to the back to this little room just before about one side of the stage, uh, I said to Vestal, you would you like to join us in a prayer? Certainly. So the five of us form this little circle. And usually one of us would pray. But I said to her at the time, would you like to say the prayer? Wow. That was a life-changing experience. This woman, you know, Vestal with the high hair and the best voice in all gospel music ever and a heart just as big as her. Oh, anyway, she started to pray. And she started, she talked to God like we were sitting around a table drinking coffee. I mean, she just had this open, flowing way of just saying her prayer. And I mean, you know how you get chills? Mm -hmm. I, I had ice running up down my back. This woman was just, and we all did. And we're looking at each other in the corner of our eyes and just can't believe. And it was just the most amazing uh, experience. And I realized then some people pray better than others. Some don't know quite how. Some, And it doesn't matter. God still hears our prayers. But I yeah. feel oh, yeah. he had really enjoyed stopping and listening to Vestals because she knew how to do it. And I would just, just love the lady. Loved her singing. I <laughs> loved her playing. Yeah. I was... Uh I was at a Gaither homecoming event. This was going back many years ago now, maybe 25 years, something like that. And uh, we were all in a hallway and um, it was me and the Martins and two or three other artists, but in Vestal, Vestal and Howard and Dolly Parton comes walking in and Vestal sees Dolly and Dolly sees Vestal and they lock eyes and it's, Hey darling. And just, you know, they're having a big old homecoming and it's wonderful. And so they're, they're together. And then all of a sudden I, you heard Vestal pray and she had a hold of Dolly's hands and they were praying in that hallway and everybody, cause you know, when you have a big event like that, and of course, Statler Brothers worked huge events for decades, you know, there's a lot of activity. There's people walking around and talking and there's, there's producers and there's promoters and there's, and there's some fans sometimes. And it's just a beehive of activity. Well, as soon as Vestal opened her mouth and said something like Lord today, everybody stopped dead in their tracks. And she prayed the fire down from heaven on Dolly Parton. I'm telling you. <laughs> she could do it. She could do it. And you still remember that. I mean, she left an impression, didn't she? Oh, yeah. I'll never forget that. I wish everybody could have heard. I don't know if she ever prayed on stage or not, but it, it would have been something for her fans to have experienced and just seen the heart of this woman. Because yeah. and she was just a joy all the time. Every time you're around her, you know how she was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, smiling with those little lace handkerchiefs you carry. Yeah, <laughs> I've got one about fifteen feet from me right here. <laughs> one of those. Debbie, my wife Debbie, one, and yeah, we've got it on display. <laughs> yes.